Okay, so I was asked if I could put together something Holdsworthy-ish on the Fractal FM3. Now, I wanted to just give a quick shout out before, I haven't actually looked at this preset before I did the things that I've done in mind, but there's one on the forum uh, called Alan's Magic, which is definitely worth a look. I'll see if I can link that in the description. Um, the change that I've had to make to that is to, uh, in the volume block, um, unassign this modifier like that, and then should make noise as such. <laughs> Worth a look, and this crystal thing. And then there's a lead tone as well, which is... Definitely worth a look. Anyway, so... On my preset, I've kind of gone a little bit wetter than I think Alan would have. And then this is the lead tone. a little bit of the tone knob on the bridge pickup to kind of dial things back a little bit but uh, nothing too crazy and then So let's uh, get into this and break it down. I'll put this into the FM3 folder for you guys if you're interested. We're using the double verb normal um, clean tones for me. You don't have to go crazy with these. You want something that's not gonna be clipping too much. Um, so I might even take that back a bit further and compensate with the level. But a Fender Twin, it's as good as pretty much anything else for this sort of stuff. I think I even read that he might have been using, I think, uh, a Roland Jazz Chorus on something, which would be, again, sort of super, super clean. Have we got anything? Where would the Jazz Chorus be? Let's look, uh, Jazz 120, this one here. Uh, I don't imagine it's going to sound world different to a Fender Twin anyway. Um, uh, anyway, so let me just take us back to here. The things that I've got going on, uh, what we got, taking the mids back slightly, boosted the treble a little bit, and then the main thing going on, we've got factory two cab number five, and what I've actually done here that is relevant is that I've added a bunch of room level so we're using the hall room shape and I've got the room diffusion up to 90.9 the room level at 48.1 and the room size at 12.35 so 
I think that's worth knowing. Then uh, the really cool thing about the Alan Holdsworth stuff is that we've got in the multi-tap delay, we've got kind of recreations of the Magic Stomp presets that Alan actually put together for Yamaha, um, which I think is a huge benefit and probably why I would pick the Fractal stuff over any other device if I was really into this uh, Alan Holdsworth thing because you can, you know, do it much more convincingly in the Fractal world with much less work. And you know, you've got What I really don't want is any of this clipping stuff. Uh, so if we go back to our amp, let's just really be careful that we don't have any clipping going on. Store. Okay, and then uh, this is a personal choice rather than anything accurate, but the Nimba Stratus reverb, I put this on, I've brought the time down to 9.94 and the mix to 16.8, but this is really for me rather than anything that I've ever seen Alan actually doing. So that's the, the cleans, and then in scene three, the changes that happen in the volume block, I've got an auto swell, S taper, the threshold at minus 45.2, the attack quite long at 746.52, um, and then, because we've got those multi-tap presets, change that to AH swell long, and then you get this really cool Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I would start for the cleans. Um, you could maybe add a chorus if you want. For the lead tones, I'm using the AH lead long within that um, multi-tap delay block, which again, just is a, a great shortcut for most of this stuff. Then I'm using the Recto 2 Red Vintage amp model. The drive I've got fairly high, maybe a little bit too high um, at 8.61. This is so that it gets the kind of feel that I like to play with. Sort of, I think, a, a, maybe an okay starting point. I'm not saying this is precise or anything. It's just uh, what I would do to get close. So the bass I've got at 1.16, mids at 7.39, treble at zero, 
the presence at 5.93, I'll show you why that's not as much of an issue as it might look, because in our output EQ, I'm taking down 4,000, 8,000 by 3.67 and 5.5. So that's the amp block, and then the cab block, um, we got the room dialed in again, so 25.3 in the room size, 10 meters. Uh, so just bring in a bit of that kind of whole room. Then we've also got the Legacy 103 cab, because I kind of like the way it sounds, with a high cut at 6 dB per octave, down at 4286.1. Um, now that is going to be shaving off quite a lot of those kind of problem frequencies that um, we're not really a big part of Alan's sound. Um, and then aside from that, at the end, I've got a stereoizer, um, which probably is not doing a great deal. But that's kind of where I would start with these tones. I think a real key to it and something so handy is that multi-tap delay. Check out those AH clean short, clean long, lead short, lead longs, swell short, swell long. Those are really good, handy kind of shortcut to getting these things going, um, kind of invaluable, especially for those of us who don't have a magic stomp. I did have a magic stomp and I couldn't actually um, use the software, the editor paired with it any longer. Um, so this is kind of handy to have something that's not, uh, what's the word, kind of defunct that you could do this stuff with. Um, so yeah, I think that for me is close enough to get me somewhere in the ballpark for Alan Holdsworth stuff. Um, I think that's a fairly key part, you know, shaving off some of that top high-end stuff. Maybe even you want to take out a bit of the low as well. Um, but for me, the idea is that you have quite an easy-ish playing sustaining. Yeah, there's some Alan Holdsworth E tones, and that's why I think also the FM3 would be my, or any of the fractal stuff would be my number one choice for a real Alan Holdsworth nerd, because you can really get in there, and like Alan did with his actual amps, you could get in there and you can make the kind of adjustments to the amps that Alan would have done if you uh, are able to kind of figure out what those things might have been, because he, he was a tinkerer. Um, hopefully that was vaguely interesting. As I say, give that forum one a, a go as well. That's got some really cool stuff in it, um, particularly if you're trying to play. Um give it a try feel free to like and subscribe if you want and uh, I'll um, drop this preset into the folder for any of you who are potentially interested another thing to try is potentially even no amp and no cab
Tschüss.